Hi guys, at the end of this video, you will be making oha soup like the natives. Have you been making oha soup and it has not been coming out so well? It could be because of one or two anomalies. In this video, I'll be addressing all of that. I'll be sharing the tips, the tricks and the hacks you can use to make a delicious oha soup just like the natives. If you are a return subscriber, keep being amazing. If you are new here, you are welcome. So let's get started with the protein I used. I used beef. This is the beef. You can use any protein of your choice. I seasoned this with seasoning cubes, salt, and pepper. Make sure you wash thoroughly with water and salt. Set that aside to marinate for 30 minutes. Here is the oha. When choosing your oha, make sure you choose the one that the stalk is red. This is a game changer. The stalk should be red. This has a peculiar aroma compared to the one that is green. Remember, this is the first tip to making a delicious oha soup. Next is the ozeza leaf. I use both the leaf and the seed. Make sure you don't cut your ozeza leaf before washing it. It could mar your oha soup. This is the Ozeza seed. I will be combining this with pepper to give this soup a delicious taste. I used palm kernel nuts for this. Make sure the palm kernel nuts you are using are not spoiled ones. The base should not be brown or black. Because when they are brown or black, they are spoiled. I used salt to wash. I started cooking. Let's get to the thickener I used. This is cocoa yam. Remember, it is not every cocoa yam you will use as thickener. This could make or mar your or have soup. Always ask, especially if you are buying from the open market. I simply washed this until the water was clear. I started cooking it as well until it gets soft. Next, I moved to the palm kernel nuts. Once this is done, it should be soft. I pounded this to extract the juice from this, make sure you pound very well. It will be easier to extract the juice. I added water. To do this, you don't need to make it thick. You can be watery because we still use thickener to thicken this. Use a sieve to separate the juice from the chaff. Set that aside. Next, let's check the cocoa yam. When this is done, it should be soft to touch. Look at that. It should be soft when you press in. Make sure you select as many as you can. To make sure that all of them are done. Remove that from fire and peel. Once this is done, the peeling should be easy. Simply peel to remove the back from the main cocoa yam. This I pounded. You can also use a food processor for yours. This is it. I pounded this. Pound until everything is well combined. Set this aside. Next, we move to the meat. It is now time to cook the meat. I started cooking the meat without adding water. This is 5 to 10 minutes now. I started cooking this meat without water. Always do this for your meat. You will thank me for this. After 10 minutes, I added water and allowed the meat to cook. Next, let me introduce the ingredients. These are the smoked fish, the dried fish, and the stock fish. All well washed. Here is the oziza leaf. Remember I said never cut your oziza leaf before washing. Here is the ogiri. Next is the cocoa yam that I just made. The next is salt. I will just be using salt to taste. Next here is the crayfish. Next are the seasoning cubes. I use three. Next is the oziza seed. I will be pounding this with peppers just like I said earlier. These are the peppers I use. I use just half of the habanero pepper. Once these ingredients are ready, this food is almost done. So let's start cooking. First, I set the juice on medium heat. Once you are cooking, keep an eye on this because once it starts boiling, it can overflow. I started pounding the oozes seeds. These are the seeds. Next, we are the peppers. I told you I used half of the pepper because children will be eating this. Next, we are the crayfish I washed. Always wash your crayfish to remove deaths. You see the deaths just under the water. I pounded this. You won't even know it was pounded. I also pounded my ogiri. 
If you are blending, you can blend your peppers, your crayfish, and your ozeza leaf. Next, I kept an eye on the juice. Remember, I said this. Keep an eye on this because when it starts boiling, it can spill. Look at that. Once this is boiling, don't cover this pot. Don't add any ingredients until this stump is over. When you do, you wouldn't like the outcome. Remember, I'm giving you tips, tricks, and hacks. Going in now are the protein. The meat went in first. These are the fish, the dry fish, the stock fish, and the smoked fish. All are going in at the same time. Stir that properly. Next ingredient is to add the seasoning cubes. You can use any seasoning cubes of your choice. I added salt to taste. Remember, we are using dried catfish. There's always salt on this. So mind the way you add salt. Next, I added the ozuza seeds. The peppers, the crayfish, and the ogiri. If you blended yours, add all of them now. Add that now. Stir that properly so that everything will combine together. Cover and allow to cook. Look at my pistol and my mortar. I haven't washed that. Not yet. I added my cocoa yam. I'll be using my cocoa yam to clean my mortar and my pistol. Just like so. This is old woman's method. Don't mind me. I'm also a sleep queen. So I used my cocoa yam to clean everything. I added this into the pot in chunks. Once this has gone into the pot, use your cooking spoon to separate them into tiny bits. It will allow them to disappear to thicken the soup easily. Okay? Use your knife to cut them into smaller chunks. Just like so. Once this is done, we are allowing this to cook. It is now time to attend to the vegetables. For the oha leaf, cut into small bits, wash with salt and set aside. Now going in is the ozinza leaf. The ozinza leaf should go in frost. Allow this to cook so that the ozinza leaf will release its aroma. This ozinza leaf has a distinct aroma. You don't want to miss this aroma. After three minutes, all the cocoa yam should have gone now. This cocoa yam should be able to take in this soup at this time. It is now time to add the oha leaf. This oha leaf is not supposed to cook for a long time, okay? This leaf shouldn't be cooked for a long time so that it won't lose its nutrients. Simply stir that in, allow to simmer, and this food is ready. Guys! With this, my recipe, you will be cooking like the natives. Look at this soup. Don't you like the color? Look at the vegetables. Are they not green? The color is popping. The taste is yummy. Guys, would you be making this recipe? Remember the tips, the tricks and hacks you can use to make a delicious oha soup. Concentrate on your pumpkin nuts, your oha leaf. Make sure your cocoa yam is the right one to be used as thickener and you will make a delicious meal. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share with your friends and groups so that they too will cook oha soup like natives. I will see you in my next one. Cheers to your success. Keep being amazing. Bye bye.